Hello, hockey players. Coach Andy here. I want to welcome you to today's video. Um, today, we're going to continue our discussion on the penalty kill um, with a focus this time on formation. If you didn't already, make sure you check out the last video on the forecheck. Okay, our DNA we've, of, the, of our penalty kill, we've broken down into two parts, one being the forecheck, um, not allowing the team, giving them time or the chance to set up their power play. Today, we're going to talk about our formation, how we are going to set up once our opposing team, our opposing the power play, has um, had an opportunity, has entered the zone and are set up. Right? So there are two um, systems I want to talk to you about. The first one is the box. We'll run over that one quickly because it is the system that uh, most teams um, would use in minor hockey through the years. Um, so you are probably familiar with it. And the second one is the wedge. Okay, here's a picture of our box. Let's take a peek at how this works. Okay, so this system works really well um, on most power plays, especially something here like an overload. You can see um, the team, um, penalty kill, sorry, the power play of the opposing team has overloaded. They have more players on one side of the ice. Okay, so we've set up a box. And as the puck um, moves around, um, our box just shifts. Okay, so this forward here is going to try to contain, keep that puck, um, maybe apply pressure if there's a, a bobble or a mistake, but we're trying to keep this puck to the outside. And if the puck gets moved down low, um, this guy, player is going to tighten the box up and this D would take over. Okay, the puck moves back up, back up and over. Let's say we skate the puck, the opposing team skates the puck over to this side. Okay. And what would happen is our whole box would then shift over. Okay. Now, what we're starting to see a little bit more in hockey is um, instead of an overload um, like this one um, or an umbrella, okay, which would look more like this, okay, we're starting to see teams run um, a 1-3-1, one, one, which is the um, power play that we run. Okay. So in this case, box doesn't work um, quite as well in a 1-3-1, which looks like this, okay? So in this case, what we're going to do is we're gonna play um, a wedge system. Now a wedge, if you don't know, a wedge is just a triangle, okay, like so. So here's my triangle, I've got my F2 here with my 2D. Right. And I have my F1, who I'm going to call the chaser. All right. And the job of my wedge here, you're trying to, what you're trying to do is you're trying to stay tight and take away shots to our net so that any shots that are taken have to go through bodies. And hopefully um, the puck is going to hit us and not even make it to the net. So when the puck here is at the top, you can see that if this player wants to take the shot, it's got to go through us, it's got to go through my F2, it's probably has to go through a couple of their players. And if we play this well, it should be hitting our shin pads and the puck is out. Okay? If a puck gets passed over here, what I want to see from this D is you kind of pop out, all right, taking away, using your body to take away that shooting lane, okay? And this player here, my chaser, you're going to kind of spin around, try to take away this pass back to the top, like so. Okay. What I don't want to see is this D over committing. All right. Now, if the puck were to come down into the corner, right, I want to see this D um, contain, maybe apply some pressure on the corner. This forward's going to drop down. This forward's going to become the top of the wedge. Okay, if the puck gets turned up the wall, okay, this D is going to retreat. Okay, we probably will see a pass up here where this forward would then pop right back out. Oh, and this forward moves up like so. So that's the, the basic um, idea of our wedge system. Okay, let's take a peek at some... Um, Video clips, and we'll talk about some look fors here. Okay, so, so my look fors um, in the wedge are, are knowing when to pressure and contain. Pressure meaning when to force, when to when to um, get on, when to skate, when to engage 
um, the opposing player and contain, you want to keep some space. This is when um, the opposing player has good control of the puck. Okay, you don't want to go straight at a player when they have good control. If you go straight at them, you're really easy to just step around. Okay, when you're containing, you're trying to keep the puck in a specific area, ideally a low scoring um, area, um, anywhere that's um, you know in the corner along the boards. Um, the corner up here um, on the blue line, just trying to keep that puck out of the middle. That's what we're doing when we're trying to contain. Okay. As we're watching these clips, let's look for um, good body position. Body should be in shooting lanes. Okay. Puck should have to um, should be hitting shin pads um, or pants. Um, we want to see good sticks. Good sticks meaning sticks in passing lanes, taking away passes, especially seam passes. And that's the big idea here for um, my my F my F2, the top of the wedge, your job in that one, um, three, one is to make sure that passes aren't getting through that seam. If we have a, a puck here on the flank, we don't want a puck getting passed from a flank straight across to the other flank. So this guy has to be sharp, okay, and be ready to pick off those passes, okay? That's what I mean when I say good sticks. And the big thing for any um, power penalty kill system is when we're clearing pucks, we want to make sure that we are avoiding backhands um, most of the time. Okay, backhands, especially um, for younger players, just aren't strong enough to to clear that puck. All right, so we want to make sure we're getting pucks on forehands. Now, if you do find yourself on your backhand um, and you're on the boards, um, don't be afraid to just keep it on the boards. Um, wait for some support. You're killing time off the clock. Maybe you can put the puck in an area of the ice that we can get to first. Okay, so if a puck was on um, the wall over here at the half wall um, and you're on your backhand, maybe you could put it to the corner where your D could get to the puck first and he could pick that up on his forehand. Okay, so no backhand clears. Um, this is a really good um, setup here. A good example of the wedge that we see um, right now from um, the OHL um, London Knights. are playing against the Kitchener Rangers here. Um, we see we have our chaser up top. Okay, good stick. We see the wedge. Let's watch how this plays out. Okay. Okay, so you can see a good stick up here. Okay, and as that puck moved, we can see that this F1 is starting to fall back you know, to the top of the wedge. Okay, and the, these two players have switched roles. So we still see, we got our 2D and our F2. Okay, those two players switched roles. Okay, um, here's a really good example of when to um, contain, pressure contain. So we can see the puck right here is on, on the half wall. All right, we've got this D is ready to activate. He sees that the pass here, it's a bad pass. I don't know if you notice, okay, this number 17 for Kitchener. Um, here's uh, the, the forehand, but the puck actually gets put back on the backhand. This is an excellent time of recognizing when you should apply the pressure because what has to happen with that um, Kitchener forward in the corner, he has to turn his body, okay, when, and, and that turn the body, just that split second of fumble allows this player to close that gap, okay, and apply the pressure. That's a great um, example there of when to pressure. If that pass had have been on the forehand, okay, this player would have probably had good control of the puck, and in that case, this player wouldn't have applied pressure, okay? And just recognize also that pucks, when they're in the corner here, okay, pucks that are in the corner are not um, bad pucks. I know it's in our end, but this is a very low scoring, okay? This angle, even if I were to take the goalie out, we, we've demonstrated this in practice, okay? That's a really, there's not a lot of net to shoot at there, okay? So if we can keep pucks on that side of the ice, that's, that's an okay thing. Let's take a... Another example here of when to, to pressure. Um, you can see Colorado here. Colorado's playing the penalty kill on the Leafs. You can see that the player, the Colorado player, is behind the net, which is a place I probably wouldn't want you to be normally um, on a penalty kill. But in this situation, um, it's just a good recognition that, that the Leaf player is out of position or he didn't, uh, he hasn't picked the puck up cleanly or maybe he's taken his eyes off the defender. And the Colorado defenseman recognizes that that is his opportunity to pounce and put, apply pressure. Let's see how that played out. So Leafs take a shot. The shot misses the net. 
right? The defenseman's right on him. And because of that pressure, Colorado is able to maintain pressure throughout this entire sequence, okay? Make the pass to the support player um, and get it clear. Notice on that, um, when the puck's on the half wall here, we'll just play it just to here, okay? So we pick up this puck. We don't have a good clearing opportunity. This could be an example. Now, he is on his forehand here, but here's an example of, of, of what you could do if you find yourself on the wall here and you're on your backhand. Rather than backhand clear, you could pin it on the boards or look for your support player, which this player, um, this Colorado player has done. He's found a support player who is able to um, put it on his forehand, okay? So again, Passes, this is Tavares here, passes Tavares, okay, misses the puck, it's in his feet. Um, the Colorado defenseman sees that the puck is not picked up cleanly, so instead of containing, he applies the pressure, and Colorado applies real good pressure for this entire sequence. Good stuff. Hey, next, we'll look at some bodies in uh, shooting lanes, sticks in passing lanes, okay, we can see the puck here right now is on the flank. We've got the top of our wedge, whose stick is taking away from our bumper, um, his body. Okay? We're taking away um, the pass here to the far flank. And we can see this defenseman okay, is taking away, his body position is taking away the shot to the net. Okay? Play this one out. Stuff. And um, last clip here is just from the um, OHL Knights. Again, we see our wedge. We see the players taking away um, that, the passing lane here um, so that this puck, it has to go through two sticks to get to this opposite flank, which shouldn't happen. Okay? So big ideas, knowing when to pressure contain, um, bodies in shooting lanes, sticks in passing lanes, no backhand clears. If you guys have questions, Make sure you reach out. See you at practice.